Good evening, friends. How you hope you are all doing well. Today is the last day of this year, 2023, and I'm going to record a new tutorial. This tutorial, it's, uh, it's about Rust. So Rust is getting very much popular nowadays, and a lot of people are using Rust. I'm going to show you how you can install Rust and set up a REST API in AWS. So let's get started. I have uh, created a blog article regarding this. So you can just see what are the comments are there. You can copy paste those and I'm going to show you how it works. So let's go to uh, EC2. <coughs> and then uh, launch a new instance. So here we're going to click launch instance. This will uh, go to the new instance launch interface. This is a new interface uh, in 2023. Previously it was multi-step, but now it's all in one page. I'm going to give it a name. So just Rust. The operating system will be Amazon Linux 2023. Then let's go down to micro that's fine then i'm going to use uh, epr at next cloud have that then i'm going to use a security group that already exists probably i just need port 80 and 443 to be opened Well, uh, there is nothing here, but let's create a new one. HTTP and HTTPS, that's it, right? And I'm going to go to the details. I'm going to choose I am instance profile. And here I have created already a profile that has access to AWS systems manager. So that's being said, other things you can keep as default. Okay, looks good. Now create the launch instance button. Then you are going to uh, create a new instance that is based on Amazon Linux 2023. So here we are going to run a lot of commands. If you view my blog post here, we will first update the DNF and then we are going to install development, development tools. And then we are going to install, download the file, rastab.rs, and then we are going to install this. Okay, so let's uh, go to the instance. You don't need to worry about, I will give this blog post link in the video description. So you can just copy paste things. So uh, here it is, instance ID. Let's go details. It takes some time to initialize. Uh, let's wait. Okay, everything is, looks good. It's, it's in green. So let's go to the launch. And then we are going to click the connect button. Yeah, maybe I have to refresh one more time. Sometimes it takes up some time to everything starting up in the instance. Okay, still not okay. So let's refresh one more time. You can have a cup of tea or coffee while the instance is being created. So it might take some time based on your region. Okay, looks like everything is good, right? So in the session manager, I can now connect. If you don't see this connect button, that means you haven't uh, properly configured your IAM role, right? So the IAM role that I have created, so if I go here, one more time, <clears throat> and go to the details, then I will show you that there is an IAM role available, which gives you, uh, access the instance from this console right so if i go to the security tab then here is a role right i am role yep 
if I click details of the role, I will see that it has some permissions. And those permissions, let's say you have systems manager full access. If you see this, it's SSM full access. SSM means systems manager. Okay, this is I have done additionally, but this is not mandatory. If you do use this one, if you add this permission, then that should be fine. Okay, that being said, let's go to our instance and let's connect again. <clears throat> the first thing I will do is I will uh, scale up my privileges to root. So let's do that. So do SEO. And then I'm just going to copy paste things. These are all tested, so you should be able to work. That's fine. It takes some time because we are installing a lot of things. Well, while this is being installed, let's see. What other things we have to do? We have to run this command and then you can see the version. So these are the steps for the Rust. And after that, we are going to use Cargo to create a new like new project. So the project name I have given like last REST API. Then we are going to move that folder. And then we are going to update the cargo.toml file, toml. So <clears throat> this file will have these dependencies. We, we are going to use Act web so for for the rest api once this is done then we are going to replace the main dot uh, source main dot rs file src main dot rs file with this content this is just simple hello world that is that's it nothing else it will be running on port 8080 so we just need to be if you wanted to change it then you can just change this line to run it in different port like 3000 or 5,000, whatever you want. Okay, here uh, it asks us some configurations, like uh, three options we have. Proceed with installation default, custom installation, cancel installation. And you want to go with default installation. Number one, press enter. Okay, so then we are going to run this source. Okay, we have updated, we run this. This will uh, configure the current shell. And then we, we run this Rust C version, which is letting us know that current version is 1.7.5. So let's clear the screen and run the command one more time. So this is the Rust version. Okay. Okay, good. Then what you are going to do is we are going to create a new project with Cargo. Let's go to home, then EC2. I'm going to create uh, this project into this directory. If you, if you are not bound to use this particular folder, you are uh, free to use any other folders that you want. Okay, then we are going to run this cargo new Rust API. Okay, if you ls, then you will see there's a new folder being created. Okay, then let's go to that particular folder. And if you do ls, then you will see that there is a file created cargo.toml 
and then there's a folder created src so you're going to edit the cargo.toml file so nano and then uh, this is the package information i'm going to keep it as it is i'm just going to add something in the dependencies right so let's go to the dependencies and copy if you have some other dependencies you can just add those you're free to use this paste it okay looks good now save That's fine. Then we are going to edit the src slash main dot rust, right? Main dot rust. So nano src main dot rs. Okay. Here we are going to just uh, copy this whole content. <clears throat> Delete the existing content and paste it here. Okay. Looks good. So um, just to modify this line, I'm going to use hello Rust world. Okay, sounds good. Now let's save it. Then you are going to run this command cargo run. I run cargo run. So it will start running the application in the port 8080. Okay, let's keep this application running and then we are going to parallelly open another session. Connect here. And then we are going to install Nginx so that you can port forward 8080 with port 80. This might take some time because uh, the first time it will take time. I have linked another article which shows how to create Nginx server blocks. So just open this uh, article here. Here we have given all the steps. I'm going to copy this part, I think, that is what I'm going to need. And then I'm going to open a notepad and paste the content. Here the port should be 8080, right? 8080. And the server name is like rust.attitude.xyz. So, looks good. Again, root here. <clears throat> I will start installing Nginx once this part is done. So let's wait a few more minutes now. This is, I'm doing the first time, so that's why this is taking time. Maybe next time you don't need to download all those things. It will be already downloaded in your local. So if you run next time, it shouldn't be that much long. <clears throat> okay, it is now running, right? So then we can install uh, sudo dnf install nginx. This will install Nginx 1.24, the latest version. Clear the screen, then restart it. System CTL, restart Nginx. Now, 
now we are going to edit the virtual host file to create the server block. So nano etc nginx conf pihost.com. Then I'm going to just going to copy this whole thing and paste it here. Control X. Now restart the Nginx again. Good. Now the Nginx is running and it is listening to the port 8080 internally and forwarding to port 80. Okay. Now what we are going to do is copy the public IP and then go to here. Your connection refused. Your connection closed. Why this is error is coming up? Let's try to run it again. Did I use the same port? Eight zero eight zero, right? And what I have used here? Eight zero eight zero. Seems okay, right? Refresh one more time. Let's check the Nginx log. Let's see if we have the port open properly. Port 80, 22, 443, all are opened. So um, let's restart the Nginx one more time. Okay, so I found the issue. I was trying with uh, HTTPS, so that was causing the problem. Because uh, we didn't have HTTPS something running, so that was giving the error. And uh, if we install something like Let's Encrypt, then it should be easily fixable, right? And if you run in HTTP mode, then you can see that Hello World World. Refresh, there it is, Hello World World. So that being said, there was the uh, tutorial all about how you can install Rust and how you can create a REST API using Rust in AWS. I hope it helps you to get started with Rust. Thanks for watching the video and uh, please share this with your friends if you like. Love is, assalamualaikum.